eight years old, I was sitting in the front row at church, and um, they wanted somebody to volunteer to be the angel for the uh, Christmas show. And I don't know, the guy just grabbed me, and uh, I was the angel, and that's that's what did it. I, I was hooked right from the beginning, and uh, you know, I've been an angel ever since. <laughs> I, I think when uh, you know. What, when I was offered the part of Yvelette, I was pretty much ready to do it the, the day I was cast. Um, but, you know, he wanted to be sure that, you know, that everything was there, so he wanted a whole history of the character. So I went back and, and I created this whole scenario, um, which, you know, was pretty much my own story, and it had a lot to do with uh, my own childhood. But, uh, but you know, it, 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 it all worked. I mean, you know, I... I uh, I totally trusted Tom, and um, you know, and he he, he he wrote an incredible script. So, um, you know, if if he uh, asked me to do something like write a history of the character, I did it. And um, and you know, I, I think you've got to totally trust, you know, give give all your trust to the director, and um, you know, because he's the guy in charge, you know, and uh, whatever he says goes. So, uh, you know, I, I I did what he suggested, and it worked. You know, it, it all came out. Uh, in the end, uh, to be a really wonderful movie, and um, you know, I'm I'm very proud of it. I wrote that uh, you know, evil was always ridiculed and made fun of, and uh, you know, in, in the scene where uh, Jerry offers his hand, you know, and I take it, it's you know, that that decision, you know, to give up my life and to go with him, um, you know, that that showed me that you know I, I'm willing to just give everything up because there's not really much to give up in my own life, you know, so, uh, you know, his world and what he had to offer was a lot more inviting than what I was dealing with and where I was coming from, so, uh, you know, I just, I feel that Eva was this kid that just, uh, you know, was a little unhappy and wanted to go uh, on to bigger and better things, and that's what I did, and, uh, yeah, it was great. Yeah, everybody came up with their own little background history of the characters, and, uh, you know, it was interesting. I mean, I, I'd never worked on a film like that before, but, um, but you know, it's, it's part of the work, and if that's what the director wants, then that's what he's going to get. And, it, and it, again, it, it really uh, it turned out to work out, it, it turned out uh, to, to be really, really good. One of the scenes um, that, I don't know if it was funny, but I, I remember it, uh, I think Ryder McDowell said something that really pissed me off at lunch. Um, you know, I, I, I forgot what it was, but I don't know. I, I got really, you know, my panties were all wadded up, and I was just, I had this resentment, and I, you know, and I really wanted to do something to get back at him, so I, uh, you know, I, I, I used that, that anger that I had in uh, the scene, um, where uh, I'm laying in bed with the Raggedy Ann wig on and, uh, and Roddy McDowell pulls the sheets over and I just, I don't know, I just had this fire in me from, uh, you know, the luncheon hour before. And you know, you use stuff like that, you know, I mean, um, and, and, and it worked, you know, because I really wanted to, uh, you know, to, to do great in that scene and, uh, you know, I came up with this uh, kind of weird southern accent. Um, from, from that experience I had with him at lunch, and you know, I don't know, you, you just use what what experience that you're going through at the time, and uh, you know, he pissed me off, and it worked, and made the scene turn out good, and uh, you know, the rest is history. Amy and I are walking into Charlie Brewster's bedroom, you know, he's got all the candles lit, but uh, the night before that film, uh, that scene was shot, um, I... Uh, I went down uh, to the Copper Penny in Burbank. It used to be across from uh, NBC, and uh, and I ordered the uh, the clams. You know, I just had this uh, craving for cl for clams, fried clams. I love them, but uh, this place isn't the best to go for something like that. So so I I, I, I ate the clams, and uh, and you know right away when they were going down, I felt that. Um, that something wasn't really right, so I started feeling uh, whatever. But I ate them anyway because I was really hungry. So uh, and then I went back to my hotel, and then I gradually started feeling incredibly sick.
So uh, I got food poisoning from eating these uh, screwed up clams. And, um, but I, I, I thought I was going to die. I mean, I went to the set of the movie. I, you know, I said, oh, could you guys please uh, switch the shooting schedule? You know, and they laughed, of course. Um, but, you know, so I had to go on and do the scene. So, uh, you know, they gave me uh, all these vitamin B12 shots in my ass and all this other stuff. And, uh, and it worked, you know, and the scene was really dark, but it was tough, you know, I'd throw up um, every two seconds, uh, you know, on the uh, side of the soundstage, and, uh, but, you know, it's a horror movie, so I guess it all worked out. Well, I was uh, kind of sitting on my ass for a couple of months, and then, you know, of course, I got offered uh, 976 Evil and Fright Night Part 2 at the exact same time, and they started filming at the same time, so... You know, I had to choose uh, one over the other, and, you know, just, uh, you know, it, 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 was, it was an easy choice, you know, since Robert Englund was directing 976 Evil, it's like, I, there's no way I could, uh, you know, pass up working with, you know, uh, this uh, great, you know, horror legend, and, um, and you know, and, and of course, you know, I met him first, you know, before I decided, and, uh, you know, he's just, he, he's such a, got such a creative mind and, um, you know, on, on different levels. So it's like, uh, you know, I felt like we had this great communication and, uh, and that's pretty important when you're working on a movie. So, uh, you know, we clicked right away and, uh, you know, it, 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 it was really an easy choice, you know, between the two. And, um, you know, I had to get out of the contract of Fright Night Part 2, uh, because I was contractually obliged to do it, so I had to pay a lawyer to get out of it, and uh, you know they really wanted me to do it, but uh, I don't know. It was kind of I, I didn't think the script was all that great, but uh, but yeah, and I, I'm really uh, very glad that I made the choice to do uh, 976 Evil to uh, to be able to work with Robert and uh, you know Sandy Dennis. It was um, it was a blast. We had a great time. I remember when Fright Night came out. Um, you know, apparently uh, a lot of people picked up on uh, the laugh that I did in the movie and, um, you know, and it was kind of cute, you know, they'd come up to me and, uh, you know, say, do that laugh, and it, and it was alright for the first, you know, few weeks, but then, uh, you know, I, I, I'd be maybe, you know, in not a particularly good mood, you know, I'd walk onto the subway, I was living in New York City at the time, and, you know, a bunch of kids would come into the subway after school and say, Oh my God, there's that guy from Friday night! Do that laugh, do that laugh, do that laugh! You know, and, and they would just, like, implore me to do this laugh uh, that I did in the movie. And I'd be in a really bad mood or something. And, you know, of course, uh, if I ignored them, you know, they would, like, uh, you know, they, they, they would tackle me until I did it, you know. So it... it, it 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 was it it was okay, but you know, so, so, most of the time it w it was cute, but um, but yeah, it's uh, you know, it's it 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 was uh, tough sometimes, but um, you know, it's uh, it's all for a good cause. That same laugh was uh, you know, brought I I, I read the script Fright Night too, and one of the things you know that I didn't really like about it was you know I I'd read in the script that oh evil Ed laughs you know, just this arbitrary place in the script where I come out with this laugh, you know, and, uh, and it didn't come out of any kind of a, a storyline. It just, you know, the fact that the laugh in the first one was kind of successful, they wanted to just add it to the second one for no other reason than just to have it there for the sake of being there. Um, so that was kind of silly. Uh, Sick Girl was the first thing I'd done in uh, several years, and it just... Um, you know, it, it felt so natural. Heard you lost your wrap. Oh, hello, Izzy. So sad. Make sure you take better care of my brother than you did your rat. Are you threatening me? <laughs> You know, it's, uh, 
it's definitely out there and um, you know it's gonna turn some stomachs but I think that's the, per, the point but um but yeah it's it's good stuff I'm uh, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing it